hello everyone uh, in the fourth lecture this is the fourth lecture of my c lecture series on gnu plot so in this lecture uh, i want to show you how to set a table in gnu plot and how to generate data this is the basic thing uh, how to generate data in gnu plot so to generate data at first uh, go to my at first i want to go to my documents format so okay now mm, I want to uh, generate data, so let's open GNU plot. Okay, so to uh, say uh, to uh, generate data at first uh, for any function, let's say exponential of the sine of x, cos of x, for any function you can generate data in GNU plot. So how can you do that? So for to do that, at first you have to set a table. Set table, and you have to write a uh, file name, any file data let's say data dot dag uh, so the table uh, the uh, the function for which you want to generate data uh, the data will be generated and it will be saved in this file that is in data dot dag file so next enter now plot in whatever you, you whatever you whatever of your choice plot any function any function of your choice let's say i want to plot uh, let's say x square plus uh, x square uh, x square let's say plot x square with lp okay so plot x square with lp uh, now uh, always after setting the table after generation of the plot uh, always unset the table so unset table now as you can see if i open my file or actually you don't need to open your file just quit gnu plot okay and i as i uh, did it, these things in uh, my documents folder so if i check the properties of my documents folder so as you can see the data dot that is here so it is generated and uh, that it uh, it has the data of x square of the plot x square now if we uh, plot uh, if you plot that file in gnu plot it will give the plot of x square so isn't it uh, very fascinating so plot data dot dat with l okay so it will give the x square okay so this is the thing you can uh, generate data in gnu plot for any function any function whatever of your choice any function let's say for exponential of x let's say if you do want to do it for exponential of it so at first set the table and uh, and plot let's say exponential of x exponential with lp and always unset the table okay now if we plot that and uh, there might be some confusion that data dot date is used to save that set the file set the function set the data for the function x square but uh, I have also used the data dot dat for save the function of exponential of x. So don't need to worry. It will update the data according to exponential of x. So now the data dot dat has data which has nothing to do with the data of x square. So it doesn't, uh, now the data dot dat doesn't contain the data of x square. So that's the beauty. So answer table. Now if we plot that thing, plot uh, data dot dat with lp with l will get the value get, get the plot of x exponential of x we, we here it is okay so this is the beauty of gnu plot you can generate data you can uh, uh, do whatever you can whatever of you uh, whatever you want so uh, if you want to see the data uh, wh how it is uh, data how the data set is this so let's say vi data dot dat okay so this is the data set and as you can see that uh, 0 to 1 and 100 points are generated and curve title is exponential of x and xy type data is data type with xy type and this is the x column and this is the y column so this is the data set okay so to exit as i said that colon q a exclamatory sign and enter okay so this is for uh, this is the generation of data in general plot and how to set a table in GNU plot. 
sometimes it uh, uh, you need some uh, ta need to generate a table in gnuplot so it will help you to generate the table and thank you if you like the video please uh, share it and subscribe my subscribe to my channel and also uh, let me know uh, what are the topics that you want to learn in gnuplot uh, in the comment section and have a good day thank you